Hello, I'm going to read uh, The Selfish Crocodile from Fountain Charles and Michael Carey. In a river deep in the forest, there lived a large crocodile. He was a very selfish crocodile. He didn't want any other creature to drink or bath in the river. He thought it was his river. Every day he shouted to the creature to the far of the forest, Stay away from the river. It's my river. And if you come into my river, I will eat you up. So there goes so there was no fish, no tadpole, no frog, no crayfish, no crawfish. In the river, they were all afraid of the selfish crocodile. The forest creature kept away from the river too. Whenever they were thirsty, they had to go to for miles out of their way to drink in other rivers and streams. Every day, the crocodile lay in the sun on his great back, back, picking his big sharp teeth with a stick. Early in the morning, early one morning, the forest animal was awakened by a loud groaning sound. Something was terrible pain. The creature thought it must be an animal caught by the crocodile. But as the bright sun came out, they saw that it was the crocodile himself who was in pain. He was laying on his big back, holding his swallow jaw and crying a real tear. The crocodile drew closer, but, no, but not, not too close. Some of them felt sorry for the crocodile. At the house, chattered a monkey. He is very brave or very crazy, growling a lion. He's going to be eaten for sure. And said an iguana. The mouse crept along the crocodile's big neck and opened his and into his open mouth. There was a hush in the forest. The mouse took a hold of something and pulled out and pulled. Finally, he pulled out, pulled it on his shoulder and walked out of crocodile's mouth. Then the assumptive creature began to cheer. What's the matter with him? asked a deer. I don't know, said a squirrel. Maybe he's going to die, chirped a blackbird. If that happens, it will be safe to go into a river again, ground a wild pig. The animal thought about they hung from the branches, they peeked through the grass, they buzzed in the air, they shook their head as they watched the great big crocodile, but no one tried to help. Suddenly a little mouse appeared, sniffed in the air. He ran along the crocodile's tail and into his stomach. The other creature stared. The crocodile sat up and said, The pain is all gone. Then he saw the mouse walk down his stomach carrying enormous crocodile teeth on his shoulder. Your bad tooth was giving you a toothache, said the croc mouse. Turning around to face the now smiling crocodile. Do you want it back? Oh, no, no, no. Get rid of it. Then you are finished. Come back. I have a present for you. The mouse buried the bad tooth under a tree. And when he returned, the crocodile had a nice juicy nut wait for him.
As the crocodile watched the mouse eat his nut, he said, "You must be very smart if you can cure a toothache, and a very kind too." I'm so grateful. But what should I do if my toothache come back again? Don't worry, I will help you take care of your tooth. Answered Mouse nimbly. Soon the crocodile and Mouse were best friend. Not long after the crocodile sent all the animals on an invitation, please come to drink and bathe in the river. I won't hurt you. The river belongs to all of us, he says. The creature weren't afraid to drink the bath in the river anymore. Although the crocodile was something a little grumpy, they grew to love him, and soon the river once again full of fish, tadpole, and frog, and crab and crawfish.